The refreshed Kia EV6 introduces some brand new technology improvements and a whole new look. Now, one of the biggest changes is the inclusion of manual battery preconditioning. And today's short video is highlighting everything it does and how, of course, you can use it. Let's get right into it. Now, before I show you guys how to do it or even explain what battery preconditioning is, I'll first give you a quick history lesson. So the Kia EV6 was introduced for the year 2022. And since then, it has had battery preconditioning, except in order to trigger it, you would have to set a route in your in-house navigation system. So Kia's branded now to a DC fast charger. Now, this was a problem because it wasn't necessarily quick, and I know a majority of drivers like using their Apple CarPlay maps or their Google Android Auto maps. So this creates a little bit more personalization and just customization. Matter of fact, it's honestly just your preference. So you can still use your preconditioning, but trigger it on your own terms. Now I'll talk about what it is. So what exactly is battery preconditioning and why is it important? Well, I'm first gonna start off with the fact that it is important, but it really comes down to your driving lifestyle. If you are someone who frequently uses DC fast chargers and you live in a climate where there's both extreme heat or extreme cold or really just one or the other, it's pretty beneficial and pretty important. However, if you do all of your charging at home and you have a pretty mild climate, you may never use it, but it's still good to know just in case. So watch the video. Now, battery preconditioning essentially brings your vehicle's high voltage battery, your main driving pack battery, to an ideal temperature. Now, if you live in a very hot climate, this will essentially cool the battery down, or if you live in a very cold climate, it'll bring it up to operating temp. What this does is it lessens the charge times at DC fast chargers. And the reason why this is important is, let's say it's extremely cold, we're at negative 10 degrees, and I've got to charge my car. While I'm driving towards my charging station, I can turn on my battery preconditioning. And once I arrive, the battery will already be at optimal temp to accept the full extent of that charger's power. Otherwise, if I didn't do this or I did it too late, I would still arrive to that DC fast charger with a cold battery. Lithium ion polymer batteries, that never gets easier to say, have chemical reactions going on inside them. And when it's too cold or out of its ideal temperature, those reactions slow down. When they're slow, they cannot accept the full extent of the charger's power supply. So instead, it'll take that time to bring it up to temp and then actually start charging. So if your charger is listed as a 350 kilowatt charger and you get there with a freezing cold battery, you are absolutely not gonna get anywhere near 350 kilowatts. Instead, you can add on 20, 30, however many minutes of your battery just priming itself to even accept the charge. The reason why it does this is to protect itself. If it's very cold or very hot, it can't take that full power band. It'll, it'll not be good, it's, it's not good. So this is all preventative measures. So let's get into how you can actually turn it on in your car. So now that we know why it's important and what preconditioning is, let's talk about how to actually turn it on. Like I said earlier, you do not have to use the Kia's in-house nav system to do this. It is way more simple and way more user-friendly. So we'll head on over to our head unit this is a 12.3 inch display that is standard on the 2025 and newer Kia EV6 models. This is an updated software. So if you have a previous generation of the EV6, you cannot unfortunately update it to this. It is both software and hardware. Now for what are steps, we're gonna head over to the EV menu and then we'll select the gear icon on the bottom. Once you've found here, you'll notice the first sub menu is battery conditioning. It's like you knew we were filming this video. Right now, it's listing my battery conditioning level as normal because it's 22 degrees here in Canada, and that is actually the almost perfect operating range or temperature for your high voltage battery. However, if it was a very cold day or a hot day, it would tell me if the battery was cold or hot. What I have to do is simply press the activate button right over here, and it would start its preconditioning process. It says the battery temperature is already optimized, so it doesn't have to do it. But of course, if your vehicle was actually within range to utilize it, it would start the process ahead of time. Now you wanna give yourself some time to do this because keep in mind, the benefit of battery preconditioning is as you're driving to your charge station, it's already in the process of getting its battery up to temp. So I would typically allow yourself about 30 minutes or even more if it is extremely, extremely cold. Either way, um, the amount of time that you give will create a little bit of benefit once you finally do reach your destination. So again, it is very easy, and the way this improves upon the previous generation of the EV6 is I can do this on my own accord. Whenever I want to, all I have to do is press activate. 
I do not have to set a route to some other DC fast charger because the Kia in-house nav doesn't know the one that I really plan on going to. So it is far more intuitive and far more convenient. If you guys have used battery preconditioning in your Kia or Hyundai or any EV, let us know in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe and like this video for more content just like this. Goodbye and thank you for watching.